Hello my beautiful people, it is Sherry Moulton back with another video. I hope you had a wonderful week. Happy Sunday. Um, I'm excited about today's video. Um, we are playing around with some teacups. Actually it's more of a teapot. Um, very excited. So in the video today I'm going to show you how to cut your teacup in half and we're going to do some flowers, resin flowers and um, on a board. So I'm very, very excited. Um, again, I'm going to get my working clothes on, but grab yourself a cup of tea, grab yourself a cup of tea, grab yourself a coffee, get something to eat, some munchies, and you never know, it's noon somewhere, have a drink, and put your feet up, and I hope you enjoy the video. I'll see you once I get my working clothes on. Hello, I have my working clothes on, and we are getting into this. I am so excited to do this. Um, I have mixed up 10 ounces of my Resin of Choice Crystal Resin. I have the link in my description box. Go check them out. Um, I have used my air purifier is on. I have used my um, mask while I was mixing and I'm choosing not to wear the mask, but please wear all your PPE while you're doing your resin art. So with that, we're gonna get right into this. I'm excited. I have chosen, we're gonna do our, an array of colors. I've already got one of the sunflowers left. So I figured I would do five flowers. So I'm gonna do, one of them is gonna be this, um, the Sapphire Blue from La Res. One is gonna be the Amethyst Dream from La Res. One is going to be Peacock Green from La Res. And I'm having a hard time. I was going to use this one, but I don't know, guys. I really like this one. So this is my Black Diamond um, pigment powder. This one is Liquid Fire. So we're going to use that for the other one. And we're going to mix some, of course, glitters in them. So I think I might put the Breakfast at Tiffany's in this one. I think we will do the... Magenta Sparkle in this one. We will do the purple, deep purple from La Res in this one. And these are Laura's from Laura's Art Corner. And I'm thinking we will do the um, Blueberry Sparkle from Laura's Art Corner in the blue. I'm going to mix up an ounce well, I figured I would do two ounces. I'm going to grab another cup. We're going to do two ounces each color. And I don't know if you watched my other two videos. I'll link them in the description box on how you make these. I have chosen to do a little bit of black for the centers of all of these. So the only black pigment I have is from Black Diamond. This one is Black Onyx. And it's hilarious because I do not have a black glitter from Laura. So I'm going to put this one is this one's from Recollections and this one is called black. So let's get right into this my friends. I'm going to these are my amazing um, flower coasters. I got them off of Etsy. I'm gonna put them this way just until I mix up everything. So I'm going to do five colors and I'm going to put my pigments in first. Let me just get my stuff off the table. Uh, two. All right, someone told me the Dollar Tree sells these little wee spoons. I got them when I bought um, the dessert cups when I was attempting to do Fiona's flowers, the reverse dip flowers. So this is the Amethyst Dream. And when I did the other coasters, they were transparent. I do not want it transparent. I'm doing more than I probably really need. But you know what? 
it is what it is and I am doing it. So there is the amethyst green. I'm just going to pour all my pigments in first. And then that way we can adjust if we need. This one is from Larez. This one is the blue sapphire. This one is amazingly gorgeous. Another big heaping spoon. Now I do have a discount code for both Canadian and American um, for Larez distributors. If you want to go check them out, they're in my description box. And let me go. This one is Peacock Green from Larez. Oh, look at that. It's a virgin. It's never been opened. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. Perfect. This is pretty. That's a pretty color as well. And I'm going to do, like I said, I do not want it to be see-through because these, I want to be, um, because they're going to be flowers. Now what do I do with it? Oh, black. We're going to mix black up. Oh, and the magenta. Yeah, if I get this open. I probably don't need a whole lot of the black because I just want to do it down the center. Ooh, that's a lot. I'm going to do it in the center and drag it out. The same idea that I did this with the brown. And then we are going to do the liquid fire. This one looks pretty. I'm not sure if I used this one before or not. Again, I don't want them to be... Oh. I'll do that. I'm going to leave it in there just in case. All right. We're going to give this a little bit of a stir. We're going to do two of these cups into each one, and then we're going to mix. Actually, I think one and a... Oh. I have something I have in mind to do with after these, so. Just want to make sure I at least get my colors in first <laughs> before I start putting it in the black. Because if the black, I don't have enough, then that is, con I'm content with that. Because it's just going to be for the center and I don't want it to be overly crazy. There we go. Out, stick that out there. All right, let's give it a stir. And you want to make sure that it is 100% mixed, guys. Okay, I'm going to try and scrape the rest of this out. get this mixed up. I thought it'd be pretty to do an array. Oh my goodness. Look at that guys. That is just beautiful. Okay. Use my all of my stir sticks are also from crystal resin. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That is stunning. That's that fire 
liquid fire. This is pretty, actually. Just want to make sure all of that mica powder is stirred in. Oh, this blue is... Oh. Is that not just ah, gorgeous when it's not all over me? Okay, I'm just going to grab a wet one here so I can get my hands off and get that final one stirred up. And then we'll pour our glitters in. And then the magic will begin. Oh my, oh my. Need to make room here. And this is the peacock. I want to say peacock dance, but it's not peacock green. Peacock dance is like the paste. Why are these so flimsy? Look at that. Gorgeous, guys. Gorgeous. Why does the cup feel like... That's weird. This one's like... I might transfer this out of that cup because it, it um, feels like it's going to fall apart on me. There we go. Like, look at the cup is all falling. It's all squishy. Okay. Anyways, enough of that. All right. Let's get my glitters out, my friends. I'm just going to pour, this is my black, just going to dump it in, in there, gorgeous, Let's set that down here, I'm going to put the blueberry sparkle into this beautiful the sapphire, And I just dumped, sorry guys, I just dumped. Oh gosh, can you see that? That is, oh, oh. I've told you before, Laura, you had me at hello. All right, those, not, oh, this one's not in there. I'm gonna put the breakfast at Tiffany's inside of the peacock green. I think those two will go good together. Amazing. And so I used that one, I've used that one, I've used that one. We're going to put the purple in the um, amethyst. If I can grab another spoon. This one is from Larez, from Michelle. Thank you. Yes, the two ladies have some amazing stuff in their stores. You gotta go check them out. Michelle is from Canada. She is um, Artworks Resin Canada. Go check hers out. Oh, that's pretty. And of course, my Laura, I feel like I feel like I'm cheating on you, Laura, if I'm using something different. Like the girlfriend cheating on the, you know. All right, Laura, this one we're going to put in. This one is the magenta sparkle. Oh, love this color. Glitter. I guess you would say it's not a color, but it's a glitter. Oh. You ready? Look at that. It's like, you know, the birds are singing and all that fun stuff. All right, enough of being silly. I'm going to open, get my stuff out of the way so I can 
flip over my clean coasters. Actually, I'm going to give this a wipe because I did remove my... Oh, I had to do it. I removed the plastic. All right, here we go. These are from the dollar store, $4. They're just a bamboo coaster. A coaster, a bamboo um, trays. Cutting boards. There you go. I will get the word, right word out. Okay, now let's start. So I'm going to come around. I'm going to do around the edge. black quickly oh. it don't matter because that's gonna go perfect oh it's good when a plan comes together it's gonna give them all a really good really 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 good stir and I got my stuff sitting here on a wet one over here. Let's get the blue. Oh, are you ready, guys? This is oh, to die for. I want to stir them number one because I want to make sure I know the pigment is stirred but I wanted to make sure the glitter was dispersed evenly Sure, it's the right one. And the purple. Amethyst. have to follow the pattern but I find it fills in a little quicker and the black perfect <gasps> amazing I'm gonna flip them around this way. I'm wondering. This is blue. I'm just gonna come in with a little bit more because that. Try and fill them up now. And 
purple. I'm trying to put it so it might move the black a little more in. All right, so that is that. Now I'm going to, oh, I'm going to use my heat gun and warm it up a little. Oh, I want to get that right off. My trigger on my gun is sticky from resin, so it's hard to turn off and on. This is alcohol, 99%. Give it a good spritz. And, oh, I don't know if I should do it now or if I'm going to wait. I want to drag out because it, it doesn't stay right away. I'm trying to find... That little, um, the black sea beads. I was wondering if that would work like I did here in the center. And then they'll all be the same. All right, let's. Oh, we'll bite the bullet. We'll just do it. We will just do it. I'm going to get one of these. And another wet one. And we will, I'm just going to, do not scrape your mold, guys. I'm just trying to. This one's actually turning out pretty neat. Just to give it some texture. It's going, not texture, but. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna flip my board. I'm wondering if my board is not quite level. It's hard to see in this black. The blue. There you go. Okay, I'm going to find, I'm going to put you on pause. I'm going to grab my little sea beads and I'm going to put them inside the centers. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, we are back. I have decided not to do the black beads, but I'm going to put some of my broken glass in the center.
do a spoon of each because I don't want it to spread too much. I've lost some of the black, but that's all right. We can come back and even do some detailed lines on here. We'll see. So I'm going to let this cure. We're going to come back. I'm going to say maybe four hours and dump, or sorry, put them in a, in a dish so that I can mold it like that. So with that, I'm going to put you on pause and I'll see you guys in a few hours. Bye. Hello, we are back. We are going to pop these inside my bowl. I'm, they're very pliable. I'm going to put them in my dish. I'm going to take them right out of this. And I think they look pretty cute. And we're going to push them down and just let them sit. They will pop out. And these are just dollar store. They were a few of them for a duck, for a duck, for two dollars and fifty cents. There we go. That blue is so pretty. even when it's in there. Give it a little bit of push in and it will pop out, I promise, because I did this with the other ones. I'm just gonna make sure it's in there. There we go, guys. Perfect. Two. Two more to go. That is such a pretty color. It's the, um, that black diamond one. The liquid fire. It's a pretty color. Try and get it centered. Now you could put some tape on this and pull them up, tape each corner to each other, but to me this is just as easy. And one more. Now we can come back later and do some black lines with that relief. Yeah, that side looks. Now you get more of the glitter on that side than this side, but that's all right. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Now we're gonna let these sit over the rest of the night. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hello. We are back. I hope you had a wonderful sleep because now it's the next day for me. I'm going to pop these out. And the nice thing is these don't stick just give a little bit of a like that and they come out had me worried for a second just do this ah. and they come out just a little I don't know if you can hear the cracking and there we go 
perfect. Like this one I pulled out already, so that's why I was like, oh no, they're not going to come out. So I think they turned out pretty cute. Now I can come back with um, my black relief, maybe even, and put a little bit of, especially in this blue and this purple, because you've lost that black that I put in there. Like That's a pretty color, that one. And that one as well. There we go. So now I have all these flowers. I don't know if I want the yellow one in there. But yeah, I think it'll be fine. And I'm going to put it on this pine shelving that I have bought from Home Hardware. Take off this piece of plastic. Because they have... Um, it's twice this length. So let me just grab my measuring tape because I can't remember how long it is. So this is a 30 inches. So the original board was 60 inches. So this is 30 by 10 is what my board is right now. So I'm going to move this out of the way. too many things and nowhere to put them. Well, let me just stick these here. Actually, we'll just put them up here where we're going to use them. And I'll put my board down here. And I'm just going to grab my little sticks are over here. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I have these ones from my sunflower leftover and they're already painted. So my thoughts are we're going to have a bouquet of flowers coming out of this teapot which we're going to put here. We're going to have the stems coming from here, right? So they're gonna come from out there. So we're gonna get this cut in half. Now I'm gonna throw in a video of how to cut this, but in the video, I'll be cutting a teacup to show you. And please, in the, in the um, video, I'm going to attempt to do an overlay of a video of voice. If I can't, it'll be music and I'll type in stuff. But um, I did stop the video to, um, give you little tips and tricks when I was doing it um, and yes with that I am going to base coat this and I think we're going to do it gold I think I think I think so I'm gonna get out my paint and we're gonna base coat this it's already pre sanded you don't need to sand anything on it it is good to go. So I'm going to put you in pause, get my stuff together, and we're going to give this a base coat. Hello, it is me at the trailer. I am out on my deck. I'm going to show you, lovely people, how I cut my teacup in half. Um, I'm doing this in clips, so I'm not sure if I've already said this before. If I did, I apologize. But this is what we're going to do for Sunday's bling bling. I have my pine board, which is a shelving and I cut it, got them to cut it in half for me. Um, my initial thoughts are, I'm going to take this amazing teapot that I bought at a local thrift store for $5. I'm going to cut it in half with the handle on the side that I'm going to use. So what I'm wanting to do is adhere my teapot like this and I'm going to do the exact same as I did um, for the poppies for my husband and the sunflowers for my daughter. I'm going to put, because this is going to be in half, right? So on my board I'm going to put the little dowels that I had for the stems of the flowers and I'm going to put, where did it go? 
So it'll be, let me see, I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna bring you down just a little bit, maybe. Uh, there we go. So you'll have the teapot like this, not as close to the bottom. Right here, let's, anyway, well teapot here, cut in half, so it ain't gonna stick out as much as you think it's going to. And I'm gonna have my um, dowels coming up and I'm gonna do various colored flowers. So it'll look like the flowers are coming out of the teapot. I'm excited. I was gonna do the, the teapot pouring into a cup, so there's another option my friends so with that i'm going to show you how to cut i'm going to do a tea cup okay let me get in here oh hold on my tea cup is over there let me go grab it i thought i had everything here oh here we go guys look i've got my trailer pants on at the trailer look at that the bloopers of sherry's videos i just about fell off the deck <laughs> so we're going to cut this tea cup which i got at another store for two dollars all right so i am going to attempt to do a talk over we'll see if it works or it might be music played in there. So what I'm gonna do is I have a Dremel tool. It does not have to be the name brand Dremel, but I have my Dremel tool. I have purchased a diamond bit. This is kind of, I'll put it in front of my face, a diamond bit blade. Now this one's bigger than this one. They are expensive. I paid almost $30 Canadian for this little one. And when I went home, Amazon has some cool things. I tell you guys, I got a kit. I will link this in the box because to me, I can't justify spending that much money. I'm sorry, I keep seeing my glasses is warm out here. When I first come out, my camera was fogged. I got 20 of those diamond bits. I'm pretty sure it was $14.99 from Amazon. So I will link those to you. And it came with the, the little attachment head and it came with the screwdrivers to put them in. So I will link that with you guys. And basically it's, I, I was, I've been trying to do this for years cause I wanted to make um, those flowers that you make out of different various plates and you layer them all together and I could never figure out how to put holes and things mm, I figured it out so now basically if you want I'm not going to but you can get a sharpie and you can make a line of where you want it to cut this is so pretty I figured it would be cute we want to keep the handle on one side so I'm gonna come about I'm gonna say halfway through this blue little flower and you've got to keep, you've got to start and you're going to keep going over it and over it and over it. So I'm going to try to do an overlay with talking. If it doesn't work, I will maybe type in some text in the bottom. So you know me, I'm technically challenged, my beautiful people. So I'm going to bring you down and look at, Bob's been at my trailer. Bob's been at my trailer. So we're gonna teach Bob how to cut some uh, some mugs in half. So this is gonna get loud. I'm not gonna be able to talk. It's louder than my blow dryer. People get annoyed with the blow dryer. So here we go.
going to base coat this. I have the back taped. Get you in there. Um, yeah, so this is just my pine board. So I've got, this is the Modern Masters um, satin finish. This one is rich gold. We're gonna just base coat this with a couple coats so that it can be the, um, it's gonna wet my little brush a little bit. Just so it will take the, on the paint. Um, you wanna put a good coat of something on this, whether it be paint, whether it be varnish, whether it be um, gesso, just so that you're covering your board. I'm just pouring it on the board. So that you're covering the board to um, let the resin prepare it for the resin. I have the back I showed you is um, prepped with some tape. Just so once we get that resin on there, it'll be easy for it to come off if there is any thrips on the back. And again, like I said, you want to do a couple of really good thin coats. And with the wood, I'm just getting it kind of, but with the wood, you want to go with the grain when you are painting. I would rather give it a couple of thin coats as opposed to a couple of thick coats. I'm just going to put a little dollop there. It'll be number one, quicker for you to dry, and you can do a second coat a little quicker when you do thinner coats. And don't forget to get your sides as well. Just gonna put a little just a tad on my brush. Just to get the edge here. Just gonna move up so I'm not hitting that. And the edge I'm going off there we go perfect now actually after doing all that I'm just gonna put a little bit on a plate so I can get the dip and get the edges here there we go little I'm just lifting this up so we can get the edge and again it's going to be all covered like I said with the resin but you want it to be prepped for the resin so I was gonna do it with, if you did it with gesso or you did it with anything else. So me, you might as well use it the color that you're gonna do your base with. And then that way you've got one more layer of color. You'll get that depth because it'll be a different color. Now this end is the cut end. So it's a little bit, um, uneven if that makes sense no matter how much you sand I think this end because I've done this before ah just painted my whole hand I've done this before and the 
flip it around so I can get the other, si other side. There we go. And just flip it up a bit, guys, just so I can get at it. We've got a little bit of edging going on here. There's loose little pieces. I'm going to... We'll give it a, a sand. Oh, making a mess. sides a little bit wet I'm just gonna quickly do this just so I can kind of see what I'm doing and then I'll come back and do a quick over there and this end is done and let's just quickly get this end Off the edge so I can get that where I stood up there that's one coat so we're gonna let that dry and I will be back with coat number two. Oh my goodness I just made a mess all right I'll see you guys in a minute okay I've already done my second coat it is dry I thought I would show you the third coat and then I'm gonna let it sit for a bit so that it's completely dry and then we will get on to the most fun and exciting part. All right, here we go. You want thin, thin coats. I've got quite a bit on that, so I'm just trying to smooth it down. feel the paint where you know you can kind of feel the paint's not there if that makes any sense and again if it's a messy coat it to be honest it really doesn't matter it's this coat is just the coat to prep your board to accept the resin. And I'm just going any which way, but then at the end I'm gonna come back. I just wanna make sure it's in all of those grooves of the wood. And then you come back and you go with the way, the way of the grain of the wood. There you go, my guys. Amazing, that is a nice color. I'm just gonna put my lid on this. So, yes, so now I'm going to throw in my clip that I had done at the trailer of me using my Dremel tool. Um, cutting a teacup in half and again it's the same process with this now the only thing i didn't do in the video is if you want you can take a sharpie and draw a line for yourself 
so that you know where you want to work from. I want to cut this whole thing in half, even this part. I'm excited. Okay, guys, we're going to let this dry, and I will see you when it's all dry, and we'll get playing with some resin. Sorry, I just saw it looked like there was something in there, but anyways, my brush is a Royal and Lang Nickel Jumbo R R795, just to let you know what I have here. All right, guys, I'll see you when this is all dry. Hello, we're back. I'm I'm all gibbered here, so we're go I'm gonna do my little spiel, and then we're gonna get right into doing some stuff. So this is the tea pot that I've done in half. Let me get all this off here. So I have decided to use the um, other half of the teapot because I thought I'm using this as a vase and I'll put the half of the lid, you know, kind of maybe like that. But my thoughts when I looked at it went, oh my goodness. So this is what I thought I would do with the other litter half. I would have it pouring into a teacup and maybe have like a stream of glitter or something because it's sherry. So that's why I chose not to use, like it, it would be pretty, but I could get two. See, this would be nice, but I would get two out of this amazing teapot because it is beautiful so and it was easy to cut i did the exact same procedure as i did in the video that i linked that i put sorry it's already in here on how to cut your um, teacups so it's the exact same thing um it is a little thicker and it did take just a little bit more time but yeah so that's i'm excited so this will be another video I'm just walking and talking, um, and I thought that was cute. So, my thoughts are, when I did my poppies for my husband, and I did the sunflowers for my daughter, I'll link those two videos in the description box, but I had it as grass and a sky, and then my husband's, the poppy one, I love that one as well, but I didn't know what to do with the background because it is just like there's no grass down here. So I thought in my brain, it's kind of scary in there sometimes, but in my brain, I'm thinking I'm just gonna leave this plain gold. And I have these, these are the dowels that I have. Um, I bought new ones, but these are the ones that I had done for the, um, they were left over from when I did the sunflowers and they're painted. So in that video, I show you how to paint them, but that's basics, guys. You don't need me to show you how to do that. So I have these left over. So those are gonna be my stems. Um, we're gonna staple them in. I took this off. I drew just a little line here. Not sure if you can see it, but I took my Sharpie so that when I staple it down like this, It'll staple here. And it don't matter about this part because it's going to be in the vase and we can shape. So we're going to cut those up. But I'm going to do this first because it needs to dry. I'm going to um, not go crazy with the color of resins. So I may do, you know, like some little squiggles. I might even do it after the resin is dry. But my thoughts would be is I'm going to color my glass with my pig, my alcohol ink. Now I have a video also on that and I'll link it in the description. There's gonna be a whole, a whole little bit of videos being linked. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. Hopefully I don't, I don't know where to put it. I have so much junk. It's not junk, it's all precious stuff. Here, I'll just set it over here. And then that way we can um, get at the alcohol ink, let it dry while this is gonna be done. I'm excited. I think this was, figuring out how to do that is just amazing. So what I'm gonna do is, 
my table's a mess, but that's part of being an artist, my friends. All right. So we're going to do this. I'm going to do double them the bottom. And I went into Michael's. Just while I'm thinking of it, guys, I'm just going to give you a heads up. These, these here in Canada are $9.99. I got them for $3 because they're in the seasonal. All their seasonals was 70% off. So this is when I buy most of it. So I'm just going to spread it out. It don't matter if there's a lot because you can never have too much. I and mean, what is that? It's an actual stone. That's funny. So now what I do is I probably should be having gloves on. This is um, Pinata Alcohol Ink and this one is Rainforest Green. I was reading the wrong side. The wrong color. No. Let me put it on here. I was just thinking it's going to absorb into. Let me just pour it all on here. Oh my goodness, Sherry. I didn't watch my own video. I didn't watch my own video. All right. And I'll lay it out here to dry. Brain fart. All right. That's a lot. Now I'm I'm choosing to do a lot because I quite liked the green. And I don't know, you see me squirt. I didn't measure. And I'm gonna take the little stick and just ah, mix it up. And it's nice because it sticks to the back of the glass. Now let me just pick these up and put these in there. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed my coasters the other day. Oh, I think they turned out so pretty that with that washi tape. There are endless options. I'm not a, well, I, mm, I'm not a scrapbooker, but I've seen all these products, but I've never really paid too much attention. And thanks to my fellow Canadian for giving me an idea. It's kind of neat. Leah is maybe two hours away from me, which is kind of amazing. It's kind of neat. All right, here we go. So mix that up. I'm going to grab one of my boards so I can pick this up and move it. There we go. This is stuck on there. That's hilarious. Let's see if I can pry it off. There we go. And that wasn't good because I aimed that at myself. Just spread it out. And it will be dry when we need it. Perfect. I'm just gonna spread it out. Now, doesn't that look gorgeous? And I probably, I know I did, dump too much alcohol ink in there, but you know what? It is what it is. I'm just gonna use a glove and spread it out so it's thin and it'll be dry for when we wanna use it. Yeah, we'll go all the way. Perfect. That is such a, <laughs> glad I put the glove on. Like I said, I put too much alcohol ink in there, but, but is that not amazing? Okay, a little bit of glass porn. And here we go. I'm gonna grab up our board again, and we're gonna get at putting on our little, I'm gonna put this down here 
just because I have to staple it. Get that out of there. So I'll put that over here. My alcohol ink's over here. Oh, and I don't know if you've seen this. This is amazing. It's a little thing. Dollar store makeup holder. I think it's meant for lipsticks. It holds those um, alcohol inks. Amazing. All right, so we're going to get this out of here. And that. And... Oh, I can hear glass on the bottom. That's too funny. Grab my stapler. This is the best stapler I've ever bought. It has the staple at the end where you push, which is amazing. I always get it popping back. Okay, so let's, enough of that. Let's see, I wanna figure out, they all have to end up here. So now I just have to figure out where I wanna put the flowers. I like the idea of them coming off a little bit. I think like, like that. I want it to be too there I think that's good so what I'm gonna do is Sharpie is your friend I'm gonna find a big one which is the one I use there we go so I'm gonna take a sharpie and put it in the center where I'm gonna put my flower, basically. And not everything has to be 100%, guys. There, and my line down here. Cause that is gonna be kind of the bottom of this. So you want it to go in enough that it hides it. And here we go, let's go, have some fun. So I'm gonna take the smallest one and look at that, it fits perfect. So that's in the center, so you, see? Perfect. So I'm gonna take my, actually what we'll do is we'll piece them all out first. This is the second. Okay, so I'll cut that one a little bit. Cut it about here. And I know, actually I'm gonna get a pair of scissors that aren't the best. And yes, I know you can use other tools guys, but this is what's working for me. Okay, now, let's see. Pretty darn close. So I'm going to cut it off to here. Whoops. And let's see. This one. Is perfect for there. Like I said, it doesn't have to be right on that line. Like your flowers can be a suggestion, right? And one more. So I'm gonna cut it off. About there. I know there are better tools, guys, but this is what Sherry had. All right, so with that, I'm going to take each one. We'll staple it at the bottom. Actually, I wanna make sure, so they have to, I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna put it in there and then we will staple it. And this is getting covered, right? The flower's going there. See, you're not gonna see anything. 
Um, that's that one. I missed them up. All right. So that's this one. I'm going to go this way because I don't want to hit my beautiful teapot. Perfect. Oh. Now this one is going in order. So this is the next one. Remove your fingers because you don't want them to get hurt. And this one. And my thoughts are I'm just going to, I may come back with my Mod Podge, my Mod Podge, my liquid glass and paint on here a long line of and then just dump on all that glass perfect I like the crisscrossiness so we're gonna leave it like that and just start stapling down here so we're gonna do one two It gives it that nice and one more there we are done and our teapot covers it and it's all within like I'm going to show you there's this lip here so you want all of those to remain inside inside that lip see that okay oh I'm so excited that is so pretty actually you know what and I'm gonna bring it right down to the edge I was gonna leave it up a little bit but I think I'll bring it flush to the board and the lid is gonna go something like that maybe something like that maybe maybe even leave it right off so with that we're gonna put our flowers. Oh, we had the yellow in the middle, the purple up here, and it can go any which way. See? Amazing. And, okay guys, this is where my bumblebees are going to come in. I have these beads. I have these. And I have various sizes of ladybugs. See, I used to, you know, have them make the wire rings. I said I've done jewelry for a long time too. So I have three sizes of ladybugs. We could even do a family of ladybugs. I thought they'd be kind of cute. Where this one here, I could put like a bumblebee in there in the center just because. Um, on these two, the black part didn't turn out like I wanted it to. So, I'm just going to dump them all in this little container until it's time to use them. All right. Awesome. I'm so, oh. And that gold is an amazing color. I wasn't sure how it was going to dry, but it's beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to mix up my resin. And I'm tempted to well it don't matter because I'm not going to color I may put a little bit of um, like a pale white or something to cover in as a background because I think I don't know I'm, I, mean, I like the, just plain gold so I'm just trying to no we're going to go simple today I've went crazy with the poppies 
and I kind of went crazy with the other one. This one we're going to go simple. I'm just going to come back and we're just going to put the, um, the glass on that. And the glass should be dry. So what I'm going to do is, yeah, it's dry. Look at that. And that'll be so pretty on all the stems. So I'm going to go and mix up my resin. I did a calculator. It's telling me I needed 10 ounces for this big board, but I know I do not need that much. So as always, I have little things that I can do with them. So I'm going to put you on pause. I'm going to get my um, resin mixed. Resin of choice is crystal resin. It's in the description box. Go check them out. I am using my respirator. I have my Dyson air purifier going. And when I come back, I choose not to wear this, but you should be wearing your PPE, which is your mask, your gloves, and anything else that you think you might need. So with that, I'm gonna put you on pause. We're gonna mix up some resin and I'll be right back, my friends. Okay, I am back. I have mixed up 10 ounces and I am going to be, I don't wanna, I don't want the background to be, not that the other ones were messy, but I want it to be plain. So I am going to put, <clears throat> I don't know if these words go together and coming out of my mouth. I'm going to put a very little bit of glitter. I'm not sure if I've ever said that before, but I'm gonna use from Laura's Art Corner. This is an amazing gold glitter. It is the Olympic gold metal. I'm just gonna put a very faint so that it will have a little bit of a sparkle. Oh, let's see, it's 10 ounces. So there's quite a bit in there. So I'm just gonna, oh, I shouldn't do that because it'll end up with it all in there. I'm gonna grab one of my little scoopies for my amazing Australian friend. Let's do, we'll do one scoop. And let's just see where it goes from there. Oh, I think that was just... Oh, and I put it in this container. Oh, my goodness, Sherry. Yeah, that's just enough. Just a little bit. Perfect. So that was Olympic gold metal from the amazing and wonderful Laura's Art Corner for the glitters. Alrighty, so let's just get at it, my friends. I'm going to move all of the stuff I do not want resin on out of the way. I don't need my scissors to get resin. I don't need my cell phone to have resin. I am so spread out here. I want to make sure everything's good. All right. Perfect. And here we go. I know these are standing up, but it's three dimensional. So what I'm thinking, I am just gonna put this on. Adhere my um, flowers. There. I've got about six ounces on here. So I'm gonna use my hand. Best tools ever are your hands. And you wanna make sure you get everything. I wanna rub in these. And I know they're gonna stick up, but I think I might come back and do a really good coat. I want resin to be on them. Oh, I think that little bit of glitter is perfect. Just gonna go up to the edge to get all of that spread around and then we'll come back and do over the edge and remember you want to have enough because this is how you're going to adhere your flowers 
not too worried about this area here but you want to make sure it's in behind the stems if the stems are raised and those stems are coated that glitter is the perfect amount and I when you're doing your pieces even if you are <clears throat> Even if you are just putting a top coat on a painting, I highly suggest massage it in there, my friends. That way you can feel through your gloves if it is missed in a spot, because I've had some people questioning, you know, why is it that my painting has little divots sometimes? I This is what I do, and I find it works really good. Okay, now I'm going to try and get over the edge. My base is all done. There. Yes, and I find it works amazing because it, it uh, you feel it. You can feel, again, best tools you were given with your hands. And then all right. That's weird. It feels like it's inside my glove. Look at it, it's all suction. That's weird. Hopefully my hand isn't covered in resin. It's all goopy. I can't see it, but it feels like it's covered. I'm going to lift it up just a tad so I can see. Perfect. Maybe a little bit here. Now I'm going to bring out my heat gun. I'm going to remove this because I'm 100% sure it is too. Look at that. I must have poked a hole in my glove. Let me just rectify that, my friends. Let me wash my hand off here. My nails, my daughter and I, since she's moved home, we're going to have a mother-daughter date every three weeks. And we had our nails done. <laughs> and these are longer than what I'm used to. Oh my goodness, I can't. <sighs> I can't do things. Okay, we're going to warm this up to get rid of the bubbles and also to help spread it out. Let me get my other glove on first. And again, it's always hard to get it on once it's been taken off. Sorry, guys. Trials and tribs of Sherry. Oh. There we go. I got my tips aren't all on there, but that's all right. All right, here we go. bald spot here. See where it's kind of look 
looks amazing. Okay, so at this point, this is where we're gonna adhere our flowers. Now, I had this one here. And you wanna press it in so it sticks in that resin. What do we do? We had the blue up here. And you want to make sure you can cover the staple. The yellow one was here. This one was here. The loser, and this one was up here. And I like the idea of them hanging off. It gives it that, it's like three dimension art, my friends. Okay. Hope this works. Make sure it's even. Oh, I don't want to get resin on the upper part of it. All right, here we go. I'm eyeballing it, guys. There. Now what I might do, and if there's little spots that, like here, oh, I'm gonna pour, if I can, without going just around the edge. Okay. And do I put the lid on? Yeah, we'll do that. Right there. Oh my goodness. All right. Now, the only thing I can see that you may have to do is with um, the stems, because these this one and this one are standing up. You're gonna have to come in. I'm gonna find something skinny. I guess this is the best thing. And there's drips. You want to make sure those drips aren't there. So. Perfect. And I'm going to wait and come back to do the glass because I know right now it's just going to fall right off everything. So I may come back and either do, because I don't want it to go all onto this, the backing of it, because I want this one to be plain. I might not even, that sounds bad. I might not even put it in. Kind of like it. So we'll play around at the end with that. Now, let's get our little, the bumblebees. I'm gonna have to find my nippers and nip off those little things. So we'll come back and do the bumblebees when we do this. But the ladybugs, I am, don't judge me. I have to take my hand off, my hand, my glove. Because I thought ladybugs, and I've got this here that has, don't judge me please, because I can't do it with the glove. It's got a little bit of resin in there. There, I'll take my tweezers. And we'll put him here. I think it'll show up pretty cool in that one. We will do the bigger, the big one. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna dunk it in my resin. I got a bunch left here and 
right about there. And then I don't want to go overboard. Maybe I can put a little one here and one more. I can't get them. That's hilarious. I'm trying to. My fingers aren't working today. I'm trying to get this in there, so I'm. Oh my goodness, Sherry. That's too funny. I'm just dunking the whole thing. The resin will come off. And I think I'll put it in the green one. <laughs> there. Where it lands, it lands. All right. Perfect. And then... Um, I don't know if I want to put them down there. We'll leave it for there. I don't want to go over. I don't want to be too overly. But I think like the little bumblebee will be cute in there too. But you want to make sure, give them another little squiggle. Make sure they're adhered before you walk away. And it's not like you couldn't fix it anyways. Yeah, I think that's going to work. I'm amazed. It's kind of, kind of, kind of cool when a plan comes together. All right, my friends, I'm going to let this cure up for a couple of hours. And then we're going to come back and we'll see if I'm going to put some of that glass in there because if not I may put some of it in the centers of the flowers because I'm actually now I'm looking at it I'm liking the stems just the way they are and don't forget you got to keep coming back and getting those drips off of there all right I'll see you guys in a little bit hello we are back this is done I am so on the fence. I really, I don't think I'm going to put the glass on these. I'm going to show you. I think that it looks, let me just stand you up. I am very impressed. Oh my goodness, I can't get you. Here, just a minute, guys. This looks stunning. Oh my goodness. The glitter in here is just enough. Um, I think what I might do, okay, we'll do this and then we'll take a peek at it later. I'm gonna glue some of these bumblebees in here. I'm trying to think of where I'm going to put them. Will we put some actually on the board? I'm thinking. I don't know. We'll put them on the flowers. Maybe a couple of these guys down here. Maybe, maybe not. I like the simplicity of this. I don't know what it is. I really am, I feel bad because I really want to put that on there. But I don't think it's going to, I even went out and bought new glue. I have a huge t tube of this. But I went and bought, I've been using this glue for like 13, 14 years. And I never knew they sold it with a tip like that. So I went today before work and I bought the tips. So I was thinking I would put a line of the glue and then adhere the, the, the glass, which we did this beautiful color. But I think I'm going to skip it. I love the simplicity of it, but we're going to glue on our bumblebees here. So I'm going to take my E 
6,000 and we are just going to glue it. Whoa, that is so much easier than what I used to do. I used to do a lot of um, Skworsky crystals. I glued them on everything. As you see in my mug from my trailer, two would look cute together on here. Hoping it's going to stay. If not, we will figure out. Just a couple of good daubs. Can't believe I didn't know about this ends on these. That is... And we're going to put this right up on the leaf. There. Now I'm going to stand this up. Sorry guys, I just want to wipe off the tip. I'm going to stand this up. And you can see. Oh, I guess that comes right off. And this goes on. I have no idea. First time using this. Oh, I guess. Well, there you go. All right. I'm gonna have to clean that out. Okay. So I'm gonna bring my camera up, down, and we're gonna turn you up. Hello. <laughs> and here we go. Are you ready? I am so excited. If my bumblebees fall. I will re-glue them. I am so happy with this. Let me bring you up and <laughs> get a better look. Because you don't need me. I want you to see this. All of this. It's hard to get it all in. But it's amazing. See, I had a feeling my bumblebee would fall off. So that is amazing. I am in love with <laughs> I will put it down and I will glue it. And I will be back. What I'll do is in the morning when it's nice and bright out, we will take this outside and I will show it to you. But as for that, I am leaving it as it is. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you have an amazing Sunday. If you um, have not yet subscribed, please subscribe, hit that thumbs up and hit that bell for notifications. And in my description box, I have the links to my Amazon shops, the links to my Facebook page. I have the links to Fundy Molds. Use my discount code. I also have the links to Crystal Resin, which is what I used here today. Um, also, I have the links to my Lares, my two amazing distributors. My Canadian is um, Michelle from <laughs> Artworks Canada. And use my discount code, code Sherry Moulton, capital S, capital M, 10, and get 10% off your order. And also my amazing loyal lady, my Laura from Laura's Art Corner, use my discount code for her. It is all capital letters, Sherry Moulton 10%, and she is the U.S. distributor. And I have my PayPal link in there. So with that, my amazing people, we're going to get this outside, and I will see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.